gonna pull this wheel and tire off right here. We're gonna pull the bead apart. We're gonna put some of that stuff in it and we're gonna see what it does. <clears throat> Okay, so we're gonna go for a little drive in the Crown Vic today. Boosty's parked over there, still hooked up. I need to go dump the trailer. I need to do a bunch of other stuff. We'll get to that. Um, right now, it's just been too convenient to jump in this and drive it and not have to deal with a bunch of fuel in either one of the trucks. Right now, we're gonna get some gas. We're about to run out. How awesome it is. We're in the Pet Boy inner liner sealer. We're at the AutoZone. This but look, we have this. 20 bucks towards off-roading. It's rubber, basically. Like I said, we're taking a quick little ride. What we're doing today, hold on. I gotta get this stupid bag. This bag's driving me nuts. So what we're doing today, we're getting ready for our trip. Um, another trip. New Year's, Glamis. Um, and to be ready for that trip, we need the sand tires on the car. But uh, in doing that, we're gonna be pulling the dirt tires off. The dirt tires need some work. So basically, uh, what's happening is the, the bead locks appear, appear to be leaking. I think it's the bead locks. Two of the four wheels and tires keep going flat. They've been going flat since the day they were new, at least one of them. Uh, probably the very first, second trip we were on, um, I came out of the trailer in Pismo and I could see bubbles coming out of the uh, bead, out of the bead lot. On one of the Can-Am wheels and tires, brand new wheels and tires. Okay. So did you hear that little clunk where I kind of put my head down in absolute frustration? Because of the bottle that clunks back there, the stuff that's rolling around. So I've just pulled over. That's all dealt with. I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. I'm sure you understand. Driving along, stuff's clunking around, rolling around, making noise. Here's Johnny. Anyway, we're starting prep already uh, for Glamis. But we need to dump the trailer. So we need to drive boosty, dump the trailer probably need to add some propane so the dirt tires we've been fighting that issue with them leaking I think it's coming from the bead locks the thing about that is I'll be pulling them off and setting them aside and I'll forget about it and I won't address the issue and then the next time I go to uh, use it again or the next time I go to use the dirt tires again and put them on I'll be frustrated because they'll be flat again and I'll air them up, we'll go for a ride. I'll air them up, we'll go for a ride. That kind of thing. I want I don't want to keep doing that, so I'm gonna go ahead and deal with that issue now. I'm driving right now to get some bead seal, extra extra seal bead sealer, I think is what it's called. O'Reilly's and AutoZone both list that they carry it. But of course, none of the ones uh, in the area that I live in carry them. So I'm driving, I don't know, 20 mile round trip to go get some bead seal so I can fix these tires. We stopped the clunking. We got gas. We have the cameras working. We're headed to get some bead sealer. We're going to fix these things today. I went out to the car to leave at 8 o'clock this morning. It's now 9 o'clock this morning. Uh, and then I wanted to set this camera up so I didn't have to hold it. I wanted to make sure I had good audio, uh, you know, good video and audio for us. This is not, a, we're not a cinematic production company. We're just trying to capture the content, interesting content about the off-road uh, lifestyle. You know, sand rails, dune buggies, side-by-sides, all that good stuff. Um, and you know, this stuff gets expensive. Um, it's the only, like I said, it's the only thing we really do. So that's where all of our extra money goes to off-roading. You know, and it's and it's a lot for, it's a lot more than just the off-roading for us. So the camping is a huge part of it, which of course, you know, that uh, eats into the budget as well because you need a place to camp. All of our trips are, you know, minimum a weekend. If, if we go riding, we're gone for the weekend. We're not, we don't ride for, you know, head off in the morning and come back. 
except for maybe a couple times a year. So that means we have budget for camping, budget for a tow vehicle, and then budget for the off-roading itself. You know, there's all different categories of of the people of off-roaders that we ride with. Uh, some of them, uh, you know, ride a couple times a year. Some of them ride four or five times a year. Uh, we are at the extreme end of that, where we ride as as often as we possibly can make it. So we get. We, you know, we get some comments, comments like, you know, you should do this to your car, you should do that to your car. And trust me, there's a bunch of things, Evolution Power Sports products, MTS products, all these different products, all the things that we'd like to do to our car. But uh, the way we approach our budget is, would we rather stay home from a trip, for, for example, uh, New Year's? We will be going to Glamis for New Year's. Glamis! So that's where we are. Um, performance upgrades, absolutely. Um, performance upgrades versus riding, we're going to go ride. We will get to the upgrades. That will happen. You know, just as an example, currently we are riding with a, with a broken inner clutch housing just because our budget right now um, is being saved for our glamorous trip. Right now is not the time to miss out on a trip. If uh, we have to put some tape on there and ride, we will. I don't care how bad it looks. I don't care what anybody thinks. We're still there riding. That's what counts for us. But we will be purchasing the upgrades that we would like to have and, and putting them on the car and doing some videos on that process and creating some videos on that process. That will happen. So I just pulled up at Pet Boys. I'm gonna see if they have the extra seal beadlock seal. Let's go in and check it out. We're in the Pet Boys. I don't see anyone at the counter. Let's see if we can find this stuff. Extra seal bead seal. Here we go. See what we can find. Here's some tire sealant kind of slime stuff. This aisle doesn't look promising. I don't know where the tire stuff is. Okay, so check it out. They have it. That actually says inner liner sealer. They had extra sealer, inner liner sealer. In the extra sealer brand. They did not have the bead sealer in that brand. Okay, so they didn't have it at the store. Uh, I think I missed it. What happened was uh, I found that stuff. It was actually uh, inner liner seal, inner liner seal, instead of beadlock seal. It looks like the same stuff. It probably is, but just in case, I already drove across town. I want to get the right stuff anyway. And since I already drove across town, realized I was at Pet Boys and I have this AutoZone rewards card. I thought I'd be cheap. Drive down the road and get that. So we're at AutoZone. We're gonna go in. We're gonna see if they have this stuff. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so we got the bead seal. We got the extra seal. Bead sealer. This stuff right here. Um, we picked it up at AutoZone. We brought it home. We put a little bit on uh, this piece of paper right here. And it's kind of cool. It feels like a, it's, it's, it's rubber, basically. Just paint it on. It turns into a kind of a it's pretty thick rubber. It's kind of sticky. I think it'll do the job if uh, it's if it's actually the bead, you know, leaking. I think it'll probably take care of a leak. I would assume. We'll find out. I'm gonna pull this wheel and tire off right here. We're gonna pull the bead apart. We're gonna put some of that stuff in it, and we're gonna see what it does. I think that's probably high enough. Right, we're going to use this handy dandy device right here. This is an impact socket, super thick wall, 
and it doesn't fit inside here. So we gotta grab a different socket. So we're gonna use this socket instead. Does anybody have that issue? It's got this uh, like C clip on it here. C clip it keeps the socket on, but it's super hard to get on and off of there. I use the actual impact, just twist it in my hand, it helps. But it's a pain, especially to get off. It's not as bad to get on, but to get it off is a pain. Okay, we're going to grab an impact, uh, we're going to go into the socket drawer, I think it's half inch, yep, that fits nice and snug, since this is half inch drive and that's a 3 8 socket, we're going to grab this and try not to break anything, put a little adapter on, half inch drive to 3 8 drive, we should be good to go, pull all these loose, I'm going to let the air out of the tire first. Let's see what I have down here in my bag of tools. Got this brand new one I haven't used yet. The clamp's on. See if I can get that in there. Has no fitting on it yet, so I need to let the air out. Clamp it on, it'll let the air out. We'll see if this works. Okay. So that doesn't fit in there so well. We have this. We'll just push it on here and let the air out by hand. By hand. I would normally use a straight about tool, but I don't think I have one in here. There we go. Let's pull this B lock off and see what we got. Okay, that's all the bolts. Let's pull this ring off. Pretty dirty. We'll clean that up, of course, before we put it back on. So there's the actual surface inside there. And the, it's a little wet and gooey. I have some sealant in here. I think it's, uh, I figure what it's called, liquid tube, something like that. It's kind of expensive from Napa. It's supposed to be really good stuff. But uh, it just didn't hold up to these beads. I don't know what to do with this. So somehow I'm going to have to find a way to hold this up. I'm going to pull out of here. You lay it on the ground. Maybe. Yeah. But down on the ground, the weight, of the, <clears throat> the weight of the rim separates it from the actual bead. Now I can get in there and get this clean and dry. Here we go. I zoomed in on it so we can see, if possible. I'm going to dry this. I'm going to dry this edge off right here. The best I can to edge of the tire and go off of it. I put some I think I'm gonna put some blocks under the edges of the tire itself underneath and see if we can get a little big, bigger gap right here. I'll be right back. Okay, so I grabbed a couple of four by fours. These guys, I'm going to put them under the bottom edge of this tire. And push it down in there. I like that. Yeah, that definitely helps. So we'll finish getting this cleaned up. Get in here on the bead itself, on the rim itself at least. Oops. She dropped it inside the inside the tire. Yuck. Not good. Right, now I'm gonna get the back side of this bead real good. Alright. It's pretty much dry already, but uh, I went ahead and grabbed this guy. I wanna put a little bit of heat to it and get it good and dry.
Okay, so I'm going to clean up the ring itself. It's got quite a bit of junk all the way around it. So as you can see, take a look at this. It's good and clean. So that edge is nice and clean. Let it dry off a little bit. I'm going to put some of that bead sealer right here on this bead itself on the tire and then on the inside as well. I'll come back to that. So I was cleaning this thing up and drying it off. I don't know if you can see that, but I did notice see if I can get this in here. We can actually see there's some some pretty good divots right there. They don't go all the way to the back of the bead. But I don't know what surface. If it's this surface and the back surface that seals, I'm not sure. But there are some pretty good divots right there. And those have been there. That's you know factory. That's not anything that happened to it. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so we've got the bead sealer. Not sure if it's supposed to be mixed up or not. Um, just in case, mix it up a little bit. I already did this a little bit. I already did this earlier a little bit. I'm gonna do it again. And then I'm gonna put some, I'm just gonna put some around the edge of this guy. This stuff is messy. So I'm just going to paint some right around the edge of this. Then I'm going to paint some around the bead on the inside and the outside. Just going to put it on there nice and thick and see what it does. I mean, it was nine bucks. So if it works, awesome. If it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. And I used my AutoZone, AutoZone rewards points to buy the stuff, so there you go. I don't know how much it's going to do in there because that interface, the face of the rim, the inner V, is uh, just kind of got some ridges built up in it. So that, there's not really a surface to put this on, but I'm going to get some up under there on the, on the tire for sure. Okay, so I let this stuff tack up pretty good, I think. I uh, dropped the ring in, and it's still a little bit tacky, and I notice it really does bite onto there. I, I feel like this might do the trick. Uh, I'm gonna throw a few bolts in it. <coughs> Probably gonna just let it set, put air in it tomorrow. I'm just gonna throw these bolts in and get it all back together so I can set it aside, and we'll take a look at it later. We'll talk about now with the torque wrench. I won't make you sit through that. So the stuff's been set and it's tacked up pretty good. I'm still going to give it a couple of days before, or a day at least before I put any air in it. And uh, that's what it looks like. So I'll follow up later uh, in our next video. I'll, uh, I'm going to air it up. I'll let it set for a few days. And one of our next videos, I'll give some results. I'll let you know if that did the trick or not.